As an engineer, you have a feeling that it's not only technology. It is drive to change the future. We're super excited because today we are at Maribor Airport in Slovenia and we prepare for the world's first flight with a liquid hydrogen powered electric aircraft. And hopefully we're going to write history. Today was the um, preparation, so we filled up the plane with uh, liquid hydrogen. As well, we, we're doing last um, checks on the plane, we're looking on the systems itself, uh, looking that everything is as it should be, so that we are completely ready for uh, the first flight. Hey Tim, uh, I checked fuel cell number one and two. Can you maybe check three and four and uh, sign it then for me? Yeah. All right, thanks. From a technical point of view, we and the team are ready. So now it's all on the hands of the weather, then we can go. Telemetry, are we clear to go? Five for telemetry, you are ready to taxi. Uh, one ready, clear for takeoff. 120, 130, 138, 140, climb. climb. Pressure looks good. So far, so good. Uh, we aim for three hours flight. We already reached our target. It blow our minds, but uh, everybody are still concentrated. In ten minutes, we'd like to dive right back to the Earth. Yeah, let's prepare for landing. 149, 145, 105, 103, 100, 99, touchdown. Comrades, awesome. It's so good. Without teamwork, you will never achieve goals like this. This team is just you cannot imagine a better team, <laughs> really. So the flight today was very successful. We have seen that it is possible to fly with liquid hydrogen. And today we see that the technology works perfectly together. So we can envision bigger aircraft with more passengers going long range. And I'm very proud of the whole team who made this possible. For me, this is a milestone which will change the future aviation.